In this video I want to show you how to install any database on any operational system without any pain. So what problem do we have when we try to install some database on operational system, especially on Windows, you can get different errors. And across the years lots of my students, while trying to go through my courses, installed different databases on their machines and they got lots of different errors. For example, let's look on MongoDB. It looks like we just have an installer and it should work out of the box, but typically it is not working like this. For example, here at the bottom you can see that you must create a database directory where MongoDB will store this data, then you might have some problems with access to this folder and so on and so on which means it is not always working out of the box. The same I can say about Postgres. Actually, in Postgres we have such thing, which is called EDB installer, which actually means we are installing on all operational systems Postgres in the same way. But even then, people have problems. So what is the solution? And the best solution which works for any of my students is to use Docker. Why Docker? Because Docker isolates our database inside Linux container. And then it doesn't really matter if you are using Linux, macOS or Windows, it will work anyway. And you don't need to create any additional folders, configure some rules or writes, it will just work out of the box. So what do you need to do that? First of all, you must jump in docker.com and install Docker Desktop. And actually, you must install Docker Desktop only on Windows and macOS. It doesn't make a lot of sense to install it on Linux. You can just install Docker directly and use from the terminal. When you start Docker Desktop, it is looking like this. This is just a list of containers which you have available on your machine. And for you, it is probably the empty list. Now we must jump inside the console and type docker minus minus version to check that docker is installed on our machine and it should be true because we installed docker desktop. After this I want to show you three single liners for Postgres, MySQL and MongoDB to install and start database so you can connect to it and use it. For example, in order to use MongoDB you can write docker run minus minus name and here we are providing the name of our container we can write here anything like foo but i prefer for example mongo dash tb and then we need to map our ports this is why here minus p and the port of mongodb is 27017 and again 27017 this port now will be accessible on our local machine where we are developing something after this we are writing minus e and here we must provide mongo underscore init db root underscore password. And here we are writing equal for example 1 to 3. Also we want to provide a user, this is why here e mongo init db root username equal admin. And here minus d, this is our image that we want to use. And here we are just writing mongo, which means it will download and use the latest image of the mongo, which is there. And if you are curious what is minus e, this is actually environment variable, which we are using to configure it. When we are hitting enter, as you can see, I don't have any download, because this image is already installed on my machine. And this line means that this container is running now. As you can see directly here, we have MongoDB and it is a running database on my machine. I can connect to it with these credentials and it will work out of the box. The same we can do with Postgres. So here docker run minus minus name and here we will have Postgres DB. As you can see, I already have autocomplete. Here this is just the name. Then we are mapping the port of Postgres. This is 5432. And we have environment variable, which is Postgres password equals 1 to 3. And this is the password for our root user Postgres. It will be there by default. And here is our image minus D Postgres. I am hitting here enter. As you can see now inside Docker Desktop, I have PostgreSDB and it is started and I can connect with this Postgres user to it. And the last thing that I want to show you is MySQL. So again, Docker run name, we have here MySQLDB and we need to map our port, which will be 3306. 
And here we are providing a value mysql root password 123 and our image will be mysql. I'm hitting here enter and as you can see I don't have mysql latest, this is why it is downloaded on my machine and after it will be automatically started. So as you can see here all three databases are running on my local machine and now the main question how we can use them. And actually it is extremely easy, what we need to write here is docker exec, which means execute, then we have here minus at and we are providing the name of our container. In our case here we have postgresdb, mongodb, mysqldb. And I want here to use postgresdb and this is the command that I want to execute inside this container. So here I want to jump directly in the console of psql. This is why here I am typing psql minus u postgres. I am hitting here enter and as you can see I directly jumped inside container inside psql. And here I can just write du and see what users I have or just d to get a tables of my root postgres user. Which actually means if you want to call some command for your database inside a container, we are using it like this. And for example to go in the console of mongodb we can write here mongosh. As you can see it executed a command and now we are inside our mongodb container, inside terminal and we can run some mongodb commands. And actually if you are interested to learn docker and docker compose, make sure that you check this video also.